Hello everyone and welcome back to Sugarholics Anonymous. Today we're going to go over the conclusion and the experience of the 30 day challenge without eating any sugar, which was a wonderful experience which ended very successfully. Uh, it, was, it ended just a few days ago and since then I've been trying some sweets uh, here in town. Um, just an example, the one thing I wanted to try was the coca quinoa, which is a local uh, soda pop that is made of quinoa. I also have like a Coke and um, a lollipop and some cinnamon ice cream, okay? But before we get to that, I wanted to report one thing. I, According to my records, uh, I started with 138 kilos and 53.5 inches in my belly. Well, in the end, I mean, the very last day I weighed myself, it was 131.5 kilos and 51 inches, which means in conclusion, after 30 days of not eating any kind of processed sugars, yet eating not very healthy or not very well, meaning I ate fried pork, potato chips, french fries, uh, beers, bread, cheese, and rice, and potato, and all kinds of starches and things, except processed sugars. I also had fruits, a lot of fruits, because that was my source of sugar, which was okay. Uh, and I even had a few coca candies that I need for the, you know, altitude here in La Paz. After all that, eating not very healthy yet, just only avoiding processed sugar, I lost at least six and a half kilos, which are more than 13 pounds. I don't know, maybe about 15 pounds. And I lost two and a half inches in my belly. And that was without working out, although I, I did walk, I walk, I like to walk, but I didn't work out, I didn't go to the gym, I didn't go into a strict diet, uh, quite the opposite, I ate all kinds of junk stuff in the street, okay. Uh, I lost, I repeat, six and a half kilos and at least two and a half inches in my belly. So that is the report after 30, <laughs> 30 uh, days without eating sugar okay so um, now what I my the conclusion of my experience after seeing the results basically I noticed that in the first days when I had the, the coca quinoa which I just showed you right um, after then I had lunch and then I started craving sugar again that's when I had a little bottle of coca-cola authentic coca-cola soon after I had a, a dessert and I had a lollipop which was way too sweet for me so I threw it away. It was the same lollipop I always had that I always loved. And then I had that cinnamon ice cream, which I finished. It was also kind of sweet, but it was okay. It was a watery ice cream, no milk. So um, that same day, I started feeling a little lightheaded, heavy, you know, uncomfortable. It was something, you know, I think it was, I had a somewhat of an overdose of sugar. I mean, I had not fed these processed sugars to the, body for a month and then all of a sudden I take of these four items in, in, in one day. I think the body was overloaded with this outside organism of processed sugars, uh, which is obviously not natural to the body and it proves that we don't need it. So um, that was my experience with that and I think in conclusion, the body doesn't need sugar. The body is not like water that we need or air that we need. It is something that the body really doesn't quite need. Maybe natural sugars like, like fruits, that's okay. But these processed sugars, definitely the body can live without. In fact, can live a much better life if we don't eat these processed sugars. That's my conclusion. Now, these processed sugars are addictive. That's why as soon as I had the first sweet drink, Soon after, I need another one, then another sweet, and then another sweet, and, and it basically doesn't stop. It stops because I went to bed to sleep, and then the next day I needed more, and so forth. So, I think in conclusion, yes, the sugar is very addictive. It is a drug, and it's bad for us. Uh, once we stop uh, using it, uh, then the body doesn't need it anymore, and it will easily overdose on it, and giving us... Uh, the, the you know the feeling of being lightheaded, headaches, you know, physical discomfort, uh, feeling heavy, you know, all of that. Um, also, uh, the first three days, I remember, were very hard. 
the then the rest of the first week was a little was still hard but not as hard as the first day three days and then the second week was better and then by the end of the month the last you know 20 or 15 days it was actually easy i didn't even think about it that much so that was the experience it was a hell of an experience i'm almost about to leave la paz now in, in the next few couple of days um and i'm going back to the states so I think I'm going to continue this for more than just 30 days. I'm going to start again another 30 days in the States, which is going to be a lot more challenging, a lot more difficult. But um, I think I want to extend it for another couple of years. As uh, I think I, I mentioned in a past video that I met a lady that uh, did that for a couple of years. So I think I'm going to follow her example. And after I finish my next 30 days after I arrive in the States, which I will record and I will share with you, I will, um, I think I want to extend it for a couple of years. Because if I lost six and a half kilos, which is about, what, 13, 14, 15 pounds in a month without working out, eating all kinds of, you know, fried potato and fried pork and fried things, bread, cheese, whatever, I think I can do really well. So thank you for watching. Thank you for this wonderful experience. Thank you for letting me share this experience with you. I hope you learned something from it. And I hope this encourages you to also maybe do the same. Live without processed sugars. I think it's been a wonderful experience. So thank you for that. I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.